the, the EPND seem to be very radical in their approach to governance. Um, they, uh, well, they've, they've mentioned of how they'll follow the rule of law up until the latter. Uh, you earlier gave an example of how you know uh, minister responsible for for local government. You know. Um, you know, Mr. Garing Combo went to Garden Compound and forced, you know, those three to drink the kachasu. But also another move that was done by the minister uh, and the council within Lusaka was that the council removed the cowboys from intercity bus station. Uh, and this is in a bid to bring order, you know, in, in, in the bus station. But conversations around street vendors, conversations around all these people that trade in illegal places have conversations that have been there for a very long time. What are your thoughts as, you know, as a democratic party? And what would you have done uh, as the democratic party? Number one, on the core boys, but also number two, on the issue that has been quite perennial in our country, the issue of, you know, of, of street vending. First of all, what should happen, the first thing that should have, should have happened if I were a leader, if we were in government ourselves, would be that before Tamula Tantia land, before I learn where they are going to be operating from, before Tamula Kana Kapenta in a house, I would have been a carpenter. I would have been a as the owner of the house. So the first thing that should have happened is that before you go and harass those street boys, before you go and harass those uh, marketeers, first of all, have you found an alternative for them? If you have not found an alternative, keep quiet and don't waste our time. But if you have found an alternative, we'll support you. What we are seeing is drama. What we are seeing is drama. Where, Mulekanya Kachasu, Mulekanya Kachasu, go to Malawi, you and you've been to Malawi. Chase for you are always in Malawi. Go to Malawi. You find that there's what they call Malawi gene. What is that Malawi gene? Malawi gene is just go to Uganda. In Uganda, there's what they call Waraj. What is that Waraj? That Waraj is just, but they have legalized it and now elevated it to a level where if new people who are wearing ties and jackets on this on the stage there, you can drink it. But it's wanting to sit down and the postcon on Avala and now are trying to make it in life. Let us, let us support them. We have said ourselves, once we form government, we are going to legalize Kachasu. We are going to elevate Kachasu. So Kachasu, we get those people and put them together so that we have our magistrates. They form a cooperative. They start brewing together. And the Zambia Bureau of Standards, working Zambia breweries, goes and gives those people the the Ntuanika know how they should brew that uh, kachasu of theirs. They will invite them. They will give them the packaging. Because up to now, you people, you have allowed them a Chinese, you have allowed them a Lebanese, they are bringing kachasu, and they are packaging kachasu in those jackets, and people are putting them in the jackets, and nobody's talking about it. But because they are Zambians, who don't have money for packaging, give them money from the CDF, you are talking about CDF, Andrew, CDF, CDF, which has done nothing. We have not seen anything. But you want us to be part of the Lombani Madonna's. CDF, we have not seen what it has done. Give those people who are brewing kachasu. Once you give those people who are brewing kachasu, they are going to start also packaging it properly. And, they, and government will start ending a revenue from there. Go to Kalea there in Mazabuka. That kachasu, we are seeing it going into Botswana. It's going into Namibia through dubious ways. We want to begin getting revenue. The resource envelope of government is very limited. Government must ensure that its resource envelope is enlarged. And how do you enlarge it? By putting investment in areas like Kachasu, which are being found upon, and elevating them to a place where they will be accepted.